Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much blonde. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our time fondly. I am blonde y'all. I know, I know. I did it. I said I would and I did it. I did it. Look at me. I'm blonde. <laughs> I realized um, a couple of things. One, it's been a long time since I've been blonde. Now when I was a mere, mere garbage baby, a garbage pale kid if you will, I was born blonde and then I dyed my hair every color under the sun and then ultimately it just kind of became like this brown whatever, right? It had like hints of red, hints of blonde, but it was brown. Any hoozy. It's been about 10 or 11 years since I've been blonde or since I pretty much dyed my hair and um it's a trip <laughs> To kind of remember what you used to look like with blonde hair is, uh, it's, it, it, yeah, a lot of emotions, but they're all happy ones. I like how it looks. It's just weird because I didn't really wear makeup back then and now I wear makeup, so it's just weird. But whatever, I look adorable. Anyway, so yeah, this is me and my blonde hair. This is me and my blonde hair. Oh my God, okay. Anyway, so I feel like I am now entering my villain era and I love every second of it, so. Don't fuck with me, fellas. Any hoosie. Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. This idea was created by my wonderful, beautiful friend, Emily, Imperfectly M here on YouTube. And essentially this is a new makeup release video, except we pull the images as if they are bingo numbers. And we use these really fun, festive bingo cards and it's a whole, well, you know the deal. Anyway, what makes it that much sweeter is a couple of adult libations. And yes, this is a scream cup and I'll get to that in a second. Anyway, besides Emily and myself, we also have Audra from Audra at Home, our little delicious cupcake. Please, please, please go check out their videos and tell them I said, hi, happy St. Patrick's Day, whoop. <laughs> Anyway, what makes today a little bit more interesting is that it's a blackout bingo, uh, meaning that I'm going to call on every image and regardless if I hit bingo or not, we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna keep calling it. And why? Well, it's because it's for St. Patrick's Day. Um, <laughs> and I'm Irish, so it kind of, it's par for the course. But I am not drinking Jameson tonight. I am drinking vodka, so I'm not really a good Irishman, but whatever, I digress. All drinking done today will be responsible, except for the Uber Eats order that I place in about two hours. That will not be responsible, and I can't wait to see what my shit is going to look like after that. Anyways, um, <laughs> with that said, here are the makeup products that I'm gonna be talking about tonight, today, whatever this video goes up, who cares? Here's my bingo card, which by the way, there was a slight refresh. Thank you to Emily for that. And then thank you to the person that suggested, which I don't know who, but I love your face. Thank you for the new bingo square suggestion to kind of get rid of that Morphe. And uh, instead we have Michelle Wong. <laughs> Someone better call her because there's a lot of high-end makeup and she's uh, the only one that can help us sift through that bullshit. Anyway, here's my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And again, remember, drink responsibly. I know I do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow, he wasn't kidding. Alex said, the drink is strong. <laughs> it's strong. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I know it's strong. It's strong. Also, uh, can we appreciate my cup? Alex and I saw Scream over the weekend, and uh, for those interested, we are gonna be having a podcast, which our podcast from Dead and Bored, I think it should be coming out today. 
fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, we have some thoughts about that movie. So if you were interested in wanting to check that out, I will leave all the information down below where you can find us. I believe we're on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever, whatever. But uh, we love Spotify, so all hail Spotify. Uh <laughs> That said, I am drinking iced tea and Tito's vodka because I am predictable. And this is my scream cup. Look at him. He's he's so fun. He's so fucking fun. I love this fucking thing. Mm -mm -mm. Drinking alcohol never tasted so good. Whew. All right. Let's talk about some makeup. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. What do we got here, kids? Okay, so the first one we have is from, what? Shellwell, shall we? Shall we makeup? What? Hold on, I feel like I'm not saying that properly. Shall we makeup? Shall we makeup? I keep saying it, it's gonna make sense. Shall we makeup? Yeah, Shall We Makeup is a cruelty-free, multi-chrome, bloopity blop blop. And uh, listen, this caught my attention because it looks really, I can't even, I can't take myself seriously with the blonde hair. Oh my God, okay, sorry. I just caught myself in the monitor. I was like, oh, who is that bitch? Okay, Um. all right, so. <laughs> That said, Shall We Makeup, sounds like I'm fucking their name up, but I'm not, is coming out with the Stray Birds collection. And this looks so cute. I love this. So basically they are, oh, they're $18 a piece, huh? Oh, well that is it, that's expensive. Wait, how does these work? Oh, it's a bundle of 12 pieces include a free acrylic magnet palette. Oh, that's kind of nice. So they're $18 a piece, which I mean, listen, for multi-chromes, I feel like that's standard, right? That's the standard price for multi-chromes. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. These are definitely more, I would say, unique. And I say unique because I feel like anytime there's like a multi-chrome release, it's always very, um, you know, like the, the same old fucking colors, like the mutant green, the red to brown kind of purpley flip, or the blue to red purple kind of a mix. You know what I mean? It's always the same few that a lot of brands put out for like initial launches, right? For multi-chromes. But this was kind of nice to see it be a little bit lighter. And um, yeah, you, I don't know. You just don't see a lot of lighter multi-chromes these days. And they look nice. They look really, really nice. I like them. I like them. I don't have a bad thing to say about this. This is pretty fucking cute. I don't think this is something that I would pick up because I don't, Honestly, I have a lot of multi-chromes and even some of these, I have similar shades, if not almost the same thing. None of them look super unique to me that I need to add them to my collection, but I'm just happy to see that the first launch is of the lighter multi-chrome variation because it's usually like the jeweled multi-chrome. So it's kind of nice to see something a little bit different. But um, yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm curious if anyone did pick these up, let me know down below how you, you know, if you like them, if you hate them or whatever, but they look cute. I like them. I don't have a bad thing to say about them. It's just, you know, eh, not for me. But anyway, we're going to call these all the, actually, you know what? No, I had that one. Okay. <laughs> Autumn leaves. I was like, ooh, that looks kind of fun. And then I was like, no, I kind of have something similar from Cleona. So I'll pass. Anyway, um, these are cute. We're going to call these all the multi-chromes because they are all the motherfucking multi-chromes. Next. So the next one is from No Beauty. Introducing No Beauty by Vanessa Hudgens. Okay, Vanessa Hudgens, that's Nick Lachey's wife, right? Or am I completely off base? Oh, I think I'm off base. Wait, who am I thinking of? Wait, what the fuck is Nick Lachey's? Hold on. Vanessa Lachey, not the same person. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, they're totally not the same person. Oh yeah, they're not the same person. <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk. Oh, why did I think they were the same person? All right, now I feel like a fucking idiot. So Vanessa Hudgens, uh, <laughs> wait, who is Vanessa Hudgens then? I feel so old right now. Who is Vanessa Hudgens? Who is she? Oh, High School Musical. I don't, okay, so listen, I don't, I've never seen the movie before, I know. I know, I know, I've never seen it. I've never seen the movie. Um, She's 34, so we're like, okay, we're very similar in age. <laughs> oh my God, fuck me. Wait, is she in anything that I have ever seen before? Y'all, I'm scrolling, I don't <laughs> She was in a Nicolas Cage movie. Oh, okay. Frozen Ground. No, I've never seen that one. Oh, she was in Sucker Punch, which I've never seen, but I hear it's like really gross and weird. Um, dude, I don't see anything that I know. Drake and Josh. Oh, she, oh I didn't watch that. Um, it was only one episode anyway. Oh, she was in 13? I love that movie. I love that movie 13. That is a very fucked up movie. I gotta watch that again. Who the fuck? She was Noelle in that movie. Okay. Okay. So I guess I have seen one thing. Interesting. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> that was a long 
rabbit hole. So Vanessa Hudgens is coming out with something or they're doing a rebrand or anyway, they're doing real skincare and real skincare as opposed to fake skincare. Okay, accessibly priced solutions that fit seamlessly into your beauty ritual. So it's gonna be available March 15th. So what is this? <laughs> I mean, listen, I, uh, the amount of beauty lines that have been coming out lately, it's just, it's so laughable. It's laughable. I, I really just feel like a lot of things are just cash grabs or they just see other people like, oh, they're making like lots of fucking money. I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring because even if it doesn't sell, there's gonna be at least the fans of this person that's gonna wanna buy it. So, uh, you know, from this point, it's just like, it's just gonna be like straight cash for this person. So good job. <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of over the celebrity brand, just over it, just over it. But at least it's a skincare brand. It's better than a makeup brand, but then is it better though? Because we all know that this person's probably not using their own stuff. They're definitely using high-end shit like La Mer and Sicily and God knows what. And they probably have, you know, access to the best estheticians and, and fucking dermatologists and all kinds of other shit. So are they really using this stuff? My answer is no. Um, so yeah, it's just, fucking cash grab so that said we're gonna call it even more skincare we're gonna be nice we're gonna be nice because i confused her with nick lachey's wife <laughs> and i kind of feel bad about that and i do like the movie 13 so i'm gonna give her points for that so uh, we're gonna call it even more skincare <laughs> by the way i have my trusty ipad down below that's why if you see me like fingering something it's not me it's the ipad anyway even more skincare next Oh, we have another Disney collection from Catrice and Essence. And honestly, this kind of looks exactly like their other Disney collection. Looks almost the same. Uh, if anything, it's just, it has Jungle Book packaging and Lion King packaging, but it feels very, very similar. However, I will say that it does look nice. I like it. I, I think it's like really cute really really cute i don't want them i don't need them but i think they're very fucking adorable now will these be amazing i kind of feel like maybe the highlighter palette or like the face palette could be something because those highlighters look slutty they look wet they look sultry i'm kind of into that um uh, but like the eyeshadow palettes you know what it's act the jungle book one's kind of unique it's kind of it's very muted which a part of me is curious to see if this is because it's trend mood and trend mood likes to desaturate every fucking picture possible or these are the exact colors and in that case it's like I don't know if they're really on par with Jungle Brook per se, but I think this is kind of like a really kind of interesting palette. I like the split pans. Who would have thought just putting something a little bit, <laughs> a little bit slanted would be like, oh, revolutionary, but it piqued my fucking interest. That's for damn sure. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like the pan embossings too. Like it's, it's not terrible. This is definitely not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, so yeah. Will I ever pick this up? Well, it's only available in Europe right now. So for my European, oh, I love the blushes. Uh, oh, I love the blushes. All right, anytime I go to Animal Kingdom Lodge, right on the outside, there's a little mural outside and it has like that same kind of Simba. I don't know why it's the most adorable thing in the world, but it's so fucking cute. If this was available in the US, I probably would buy it just based off the pan embossings. I also kind of like the color. The colors are kind of cool. This is not that bad. Listen, it's not that bad. Although, ew, what is that? <laughs> Okay, I like the Jungle Book palette more than the Lion King one. Although, no, the, never mind, never mind, never mind. I love it, I love it, I love every second of it. <laughs> This so goddamn little fucking Simba's. I can't. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. The Simba one's killing me. Also, there's a cake eyeliner. Oh, that's really weird and interesting. There's a lot here, but it's interesting. And if this was ever to come to the US, I'd pick it up. I'd pick it up. I'd actually put it on my motherfucking face because I think it's done in a nice way. It's just weird and desaturated. That's the only thing is that the colors are definitely not true to the franchises. I don't think anyway. But then again, it's trend mood, man. I don't know. Trend mood fucks up pictures, so. It's just funny. I like drink from the back of him. Like, okay. I like it. I don't hate it. Um. So with that said, what can I call this? You know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, what am I going to say? <laughs> I'm gonna call it a collab not known for their makeup. I feel like most Disney makeup is. But this is the Jungle Book and the Lion King. Two movies, two franchises that really just have nothing to do with makeup whatsoever. So I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna call it that. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna call it that though. Weird. Anyway, I like it. Next. Oh, it cosmetics. 
So it's available now. This is the Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer and Serum. Ooh, that is a weird shade range. What the fuck? <laughs> Ew, what is the colors on that? They look like paint swatches. Oh, I hate that. Provides instant medium coverage and 24 hours of hydration. Visibly improves over time the look of bare skin. Developed with dermatologists and plastic surgeons. Fade the look of dark spots, fine lines, dark circles under eyes, and uneven skin texture. Which we have 2% niacinamide. Haha, <laughs> I know how to say the word. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Hyaluronic acid and caffeine has a lightweight, creamy texture, buildable, medium coverage with a natural finish. Can be used all over or as a brightening spot concealer. Has a doe foot applicator and a kabuki concealer brush on the other side for blending. Anything that has that stupid like sponge thing, it's garbage. It makes me think of the uh, Urban Decay one. It's like a pretty decent concealer and then like they have this stupid fucking brush that literally adds nothing. If anything, it hurts. 30 bucks, 18 shades. The shade range is weird though. But then again, for dark circles, you kind of need like a color corrector, right? So I guess it does make sense. It's just kind of a little jarring initially. But yeah, the shade range is weird. And I also feel like for that price, this should not look like drugstore. This looks straight up like Maybelline, like the age rewind shit. Like, um, uh, which that's actually a really good concealer, by the way. That is a fantastic concealer. This is kind of giving me that vibe. So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm intrigued, but also not really. Because I feel like I have enough concealers in my arsenal that like I, I just don't need something else. I don't need to try this one. I don't know. Something about it is like kind of rubbing me the wrong way. It's weird. Also, going back to the shade range, I feel like because I am so uncooked chicken that even using this is going to have like a weird cast under my eyes. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'm in my head about that, but kind of funky, right? I'm gonna say that this is a complexion release with a terrible shade range. It feels, it feels weird. It's weird because it's, it's like a color corrector and a concealer. So wouldn't there be more shades? Insert X-Files theme music here. I can't do it because it's a, otherwise it's a fucking copyright claim. <laughs> I miss the old days of YouTube. Anyway. <laughs> It's weird. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Anyway, we're gonna call this, um, yeah, we're gonna call it complexion release with a terrible range. And we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. Oh, hello, Nars. Look at our little baby Nars. Thing that will just never die. Okay, so instead of them doing orgasm, which has, you know, literally been just killed, we also have the Laguna collection. I feel like if it's not orgasm, it's Laguna. And I just, I don't, I don't really care. I wish that this was uh, an actual, like, face palette and not an eyeshadow quad. Ew, the eyeshadow quads look stupid. Okay. <laughs> so you have a tinted afterglow lip balm for $28 in Laguna. Ooh. Then you have two quads, which their quad eyeshadow palettes retail for $49. Are you fucking out of your mind? Wait a second, that doesn't even make any sense because like their fucking nine bands are at least what? If not $49, $59. So what makes these so special? What? No, this can't be right. This can't be right. Quad eyeshadow palettes. No, this can't be right. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. Now you can't be, no, you can't be charging those prices for that. Get the fuck out of here. I need a drink for this. Oh my God, I don't, I don't care about the new stuff. Stop it, leave me alone. Just wanna see, no, God, no, ew, no, give me the new. Hi, new. It's a goddamn eyeshadow quad. No, no, <laughs> no, ew, what, for eyeshadows. Wait a second, hold the phone. How much are their eyeshadows normally? Their eyeshadows are not, oh God. Their website is hot. Diggity dog shit. What the f- Hi, makeup. More. Yo, what is- Stop. What is- Why can't I access stuff from your fucking eye? Eye. Eye. <laughs> their website is hot fucking trash. I can't. How is their orgasm eyeshadow palette retailing for $49? And that's a nine pan, boo-boo. Okay? A nine pan. Get the f- Fuck out of here. Ew, ew, Nars. Listen, I kind of have been seeing Nars for a little bit, right? They do make some nice products, but this, I, I just, I can't get behind this. This is fucking bullshit. Ew, no, 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 no. I think not. Are you kidding? Barely show up on the model, the fucking Laguna one or Laguna Sunset. No, Laguna. Laguna Sunset is just like, oh, that is just such a, what is, 
this is a no for me. This is a no for me. What could I call this? Except, uh, you know what? No, we're gonna call this, she doesn't go here. She doesn't even go here. Fuck that. You have a lot of, you have a lot of balls, Nars, to charge that much for a quad. A quad, okay? For barely their eyeshadow? Get the fuck out of here. Good day, sir. Next. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm excited to try this one. So this is the Maybelline 24 hour skin tint foundation, which by the way, y'all, I'm getting into to drugstore. I'm getting into drugstore and I'm kind of really, really loving it. It's so much fucking better than the shit that you find in Sephora and Ulta these days. <laughs> I should take that back. Ulta has at least drugstores. Sephora has no fucking excuse. But anyway, this looks wonderful. This looks wonderful. I can't wait to try it. I have no idea when it's coming out, but I'm excited. Lightweight with formula enriched with vitamin C to give the skin a fresh glow while covering unevenness and redness. Stays on for up to 24 hours. Feels comfortable on the skin and leaves your skin feeling soft and hydrated. Vegan formula suitable for sensitive and non-clogging to the pores. Oh, okay. So I will say the shade range is kind of garbage too. Usually skin tints don't really come out with a lot of shades anyway because essentially you know it's a very very light 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 foundation it's just really meant to like even your shit out right but ultimately keep you being you but um i'm pretty sure this is not the whole shade range i'm pretty sure there's gonna be quite a bit it's just this is the only photo we have so i'm gonna be nice um but yeah i, I mean listen I really enjoy where the fuck is this pal? This is so good. I really like this. This is really good. This is really, really good. The super stay. And I have to say, fucking Revlon. My face looks like goddamn butter. The combination of these two, it's disgusting. <laughs> How like in love I am with it. I absolutely love it. Although, you know what's really funny though? I really... <laughs> I feel like such a dick fuck. I feel like a dick fuck. You know why? Because I have drugstore foundation on. But you know what though? For my blush today, I did use Chanel. <laughs> I did buy that fucking new Chanel palette because I realized it wasn't an eyeshadow palette and it actually was a, an actual blush book and it's everything that I wanted to be and then some. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this doesn't disappoint. Um, but anyway, love my... <laughs> I love, love my fucking drugstore complexion products. They are wonderful, absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one. Everything that I have been getting from Maybelline so far, you know, even the concealer too is good. It smells kind of chemically. I'm afraid to be near an open flame, but beyond that though, I, I fucking love it. I love it. So yeah, this is, this sounds really, really good. And um, I feel like I, I kind of just, I don't know, like smitten now with drugstore. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm excited to see what else is coming out because I had such a good time with that last video. Hmm. Also, I'm, I feel like I'm getting drunk. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're gonna call this, put this on my face, cause put this on my motherfucking face. Next. Ugh. Okay, I, <sighs> All right, so the next one is from Gurlan, Gurlane, Gurlan. Um, I I don't know how I feel about the terracotta line because I feel like uh, when I've had a terracotta bronzer in the past, I hated it. I hated it, hated it, hated it. I think the only thing that I really ever loved from Guerlain besides their lipsticks is their mascara. They make some amazing mascara. But this though, I feel like it's trying to do something, but it's not. You know what I mean? It's like one of those products that they're trying to do something. They're trying to make it seem like, oh my God, like look at this glow. But I'm pretty sure you can get that kind of glow without spending that huge price tag. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's nothing fantastic or special about it. And I will be honest, when I look at the shades on the palest arm, where are they? Where are they? Do you see them? Cause I don't fucking see them. I don't see them at all. Um, I do see it on the arm on the top and the middle arm, but the bottom arm, I see shit. So I feel like I have no hope with this. Or it's gonna be one of those products where I'm gonna have to like dig into the pan to get at least, I don't know, fucking 30 grams of product. <laughs> just, I don't know why 30, it was such a specific number, but I feel like I'm just gonna have to like dig a little hole and then like just kind of press it onto my face to have a little something something. I don't know, there's nothing special or unique about this one. This is like a ugh, ugh. So I wanna say we should call Michelle Wong about this one. But for me, I feel like that square is like, ooh, something is pricey and high end and I wanna pick it up, but I don't know if I wanna pick it up. So I wanna call Michelle to let me know the tea. This is more of like a, mm -mm, I wouldn't even, bother to text Michelle about this. <laughs> Cause yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna waste Michelle's time. In my head now, Michelle is kind of like Batman where I just uh, send a signal. <laughs> just Mich Michelle Wong's logo. 
<sighs> and she knows she's needed. Um, no, this is not Michelle worthy. This, no. I'm sure we'd both go, mm. <laughs> So with that said, I want to call this, I want to call this a product that's a catfish. It's kind of a catfish, right? Because it's catfishing to be like a, an actual highlighter. <laughs> but we all know it's not. It's just powder. It's just nothing but powder. So I'm going to call this, it's a catfish. This is like a cat. You're, you're trying to be something you're not, bitch. No, thank you, ma'am. Next. Ooh, I bought these. I <laughs> I'm already gonna do it. I already bought them. I'm gonna mark it on my bingo card. One of my kind pumpkins uh, sent this to me and was like, you should pick this up and you and Alex should do a video. And you know what? We are and we're gonna do it. And I, I picked them up because we love really awful lip products and we love things that are supposed to taste like stuff. I'm not a big spicy boy, but he is. And I'm so curious to see how spicy these lip glosses are gonna be. I feel like his head's gonna go right up my nose. So I already bought them. So expect a video very, very soon, but we are gonna try all of them. They have a rebel in ooh rebel in red serrano jalapeno poppin habanero hot habanero hottie chipotle chilla saw ghost pepper ah saw ghost pepper <laughs> Pretty Poblano. Oh, I love all of that. I love all of that. They're so stupid. I can't wait to put them on my fucking face. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of secretly hoping that they're going to have like a, a little bit of like a plumping heat reaction, but we'll find out in due time. Anyway, so we're gonna call it already bought it because I already fucking bought it. Next. This I want to try. I want to put these on my motherfucking face because I heard nothing but good things about the lip butter bomb from Summer Fridays. Even people at my job were like, yo, it's good, it's good. I've been meaning to check them out. So these are a silky vegan bomb that hydrates and soothes parched lips in seconds. Um, yeah, I plan on picking it up. I think I'm actually going to wait though because I know the Sephora sale is just right around the river's bend. And that's when I plan on picking it up, hopefully if they're fucking in stock. If not, then I'll definitely go to Summer Fridays and try it out. I really do love um, some of the Summer Friday stuff that I picked up uh, this year, which is the moisturizer. I'm actually on my second bottle of that one. That one's really good. I'm really, really intrigued. It looks good and I love things that just plump and hydrate the shit out of my lips because I am a dry, dry boy. And yeah, looks awesome. So uh, I'm gonna call this, I don't think I can call this anything, right? No, I just wanna put it on my face, but we already did that. So yeah, sorry, <laughs> nothing. The next thing is from Rare Beauty. I actually did pick up the new, uh, what the hell is it? Um, oh, you bitch, what is it? The, uh, the, da, 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 this thing. <laughs> The Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Sticks. Rare Beauty makes a fantastic bronzer. And my only complaint about that bronzer is that it was a little bit too warm leaning. I still made it work, but I kind of prefer something a little bit more cooler. <sighs> Bitch, it doesn't disappoint. It doesn't disappoint. It's so good. I've been kind of playing with it uh, for the past couple of days and I've been really, really enjoying it. So I'm very, very happy about that. And um, when I see this eyeshadow palette, it looks really cute. She is a basic bitch, but she's a cute basic bitch at that. And I think I might actually want to kind of pick it up. I have not tried any sort of eyeshadow from Rare Beauty. I've only had, I think, everything else pretty much. And for the most part, I really do enjoy their stuff. Actually, the one thing I picked up recently was um, the little makeup bag, the puffy makeup bag. I couldn't resist. I saw it. I thought it was the cutest fucking thing and I had to pick it up. It was like 20, 20 bucks or whatever. So cute. Really good quality. When I see this, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of interested in this. The blushes also look nice too. The Rare Beauty blushes, I like these blushes better than the little round guys. The little round guys, I felt like kind of blended into nothing on me. They really didn't have any longevity or whatever. So I kind of like those colors. Virtue, I'd probably get Virtue. Cause I feel like I have worth. <laughs> Realize how funny this is. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> any hoosies. I want this, I like this. I like it. And not just because everybody on the internet is loving Selena Gomez right now because fuck Kaylee Bieber. But um, no, I just think it's really cute. I really just want to try this eyeshadow palette. It actually looks spectacular. So so as soon as the Sephora sale comes upon us, I plan on picking this up. Even though it's $29, it's actually a pretty good price point considering it's rare beauty. If I can get it 20% cheaper, obviously like I'm going to fucking wait. And the sale's literally a month away, so no rush. But yeah, I plan on picking that up then. And yeah, I like this. I like rare beauty. So Kudos to you, and uh, I don't know if I can call this anything. You know what, I'm gonna call it Total Ann Palette because it is a motherfucking Ann Palette, and I'm obsessed, and I love it, and it's, I already bought it too. Well, the fucking bronzer sick, but whatever, who cares? Ah, uh, yeah, Ann Palette, love it. Next. Okay, uh, whoa, uh, Too Faced, 
First of all, I'm still in love with that Italian spritz palette. I, you will have to pry that shit out of my fucking cold dead hands, okay? It's that good. Run, run, don't walk. I swear, I feel so funny like recommending that palette, but that palette is fantastic. I cannot stop playing. Between that one and the Jason Wu palette, I just, those two, like, I love them. I love them to pieces. So goddamn good. Anyway, so we have a Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30 Moisturizing Skin Tint. So, uh, $42. Oh, ew. Okay. Okay, an, oil, <laughs> an oil-free nourishing serum foundation with up to 24 hour wear and hydration, an SPF 30 protection for healthy, leave skin glowing with a soft focus, medium coverage, natural finish with coconut water. Nope, pass, pass, I don't want it. <laughs> Coconut water, alpine rose, hyaluronic acid. That's my kind of issue I feel like with Too Faced is that they have a lot of coconut in their shit and coconut just does not agree with me. It just doesn't. And that's fine, it's fine. But I feel like every kind of um, complexion-y product that I've ever gotten from Too Faced never really ended well for me, never really worked out very well. So it's something that I don't really need or want. But I do love seeing a skin tint though. I love me a skin tint. So this is kind of, all right, so like they have a comparison chart. So it's underneath, Born This Way, as well as the Born This Way matte. Soft focus, ethereal glow. Oh, I love that. Oh, medium buildable coverage. Oh shit, okay. Huh, interesting. It perks me up until I think about the coconut part and then I'm like, nah, I'll pass, I'll pass. Um, but yeah, okay. However, I will say uh, the big elephant in the room here, the packaging looks very much like Dior backstage. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh, Dior, you're in different packaging. Now I've never tried that foundation before, but I've heard really, really good things. So I was a little confused, but then when I saw it was Too Faced, I was like, <laughs> What? Um, <laughs> so it's kind of funny to see this in this kind of like Dior like packaging, which is kind of perfect for the square major copycat vibes because this shit is a major copycat vibes. Um, but yeah, I just wish coconut gelled with me because I'd be kind of interested to try it, but I don't know, the Maybelline ones just sounded better, right? Plus it didn't have fucking coconut in it, so I'll take it. All right, anyway, we're gonna call this major copycat vibes because it's looking like it just skin Dior's backstage body and decided to jump right into it. So major copycat vibes, next. So we have two products here. One is from Cali Ray and the other one is from Refi. So Cali Ray, Cali Ray, bitch, $48? Get the, all right, so this is the Endless Sunset Face and Eyeshadow Talc-Free Palette. A clean, talc-free, multi-purpose palette in a sustainable bamboo compact. Oh, why did it have to read wood? I love anything that comes in wood. Like, I love um, the little Inglot. Like, Inglot has, like, a little magnetized eyeshadow palette. I love that fucking thing. I don't know, there's just something about it that's so pretty. But anyway, anyway, I digress. <laughs> The bamboo compact with seven curated shades, pigmented matte, satin, and glowing colors can be used as eyeshadows, highlighters, blushes, and contours, and extra large pants are refillable. Bamboo compact. <gasps> okay, so here's the thing. I wasn't, I was just like, who cares? It's $48, but it's kind of, I feel like almost worth no it's not worth it Teresa what the fuck are you talking about it's so stupid but it's wood seriously don't take me to a target <laughs> anytime I see like a wood serving platter I'm like I have to stop and look at it because I think in my mind like I'm gonna put like cheese and meats and caviar on it fully knowing well I'm never gonna do that I'm gonna eat that shit off a paper plate because you know gotta keep myself grounded but I love the idea of this I think it's so cute so for the $48 price point I'm like it's not that bad it's refillable right so it's kind of cute I'm trying to justify this. <laughs> And I mean, listen, if it was just straight up just an eyeshadow palette, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. But the fact that they're multi-purpose, I'm just trying to make my case to like, next time you see me, I'm like, look what I got. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> but it looks so fun though. I want to get this. Ew, I want to get this though. Oh, oh I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm going to get this. <laughs> The more I look at it, the more I'm like, oh, this is gonna be, f what the fuck is this? Th Hold on, wait a second, wait a second. I, need, I can't even jump to that eyebrow gel product in a second. I need to, <laughs> I need to talk about this stupid palette. It's stupid, it's stu I recognize it's stupid and I'm gonna be a fucking clown, all right? I'm gonna be a clown with my scream cup and I'm gonna buy this, but I'm gonna wait though. Mm. Mm. You know what? I actually have another $100 Sephora Rouge card. I can get it, I can get it right now. <laughs> It's gonna go so well with my blonde hair, okay? It's giving you villain fantasy. I feel so 2000s, it's not even funny. Okay, anyway, I am getting drunk. I'm buying it. I was all ready to call it stupid. <laughs> it's not stupid, mom. We're gonna be in love forever. That's what I feel like. <laughs> 
my mom is telling me like you're literally, literally you're gonna forget about him in like two days like he's not good for you and I'm like I don't care <laughs> he sees into my soul mom like that's how I feel about this palette and I love it okay so we're buying it uh <laughs> next one is the what it, okay first of all this is the refi brow tint eyeshadow no I'm adding words I'm getting drunk brow tint eyebrow gel $24 water-based non-permanent brow tint for natural looking texture and long-lasting hold what the brush tip looks like a tiny toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> It's a toilet bowl brush, but for like a mini house. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a miniature house. That's a tiny toilet bowl brush. I don't think I could ever put that on my eyebrows. Oh, okay. Also, I listen, I admire the, the, the babes that want to do like the big fluffy brows. It's just not for me. It's not for me. And that's okay. That's okay, right? But when I see this, I'm just like, ooh, I don't like it. It's freaking me out. <laughs> it's freaking me out. I don't like how like fluffy. It's not given what you think it's given. Mm -mm. I don't know, but... No, it's a toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> it's a toilet bowl brush and I hate it. I hate it. I can't do the toilet bowl brush, but I can do the bamboo palette. Yes, the bamboo palette. No to the toilet bowl brush. Oh, I am. I am getting drunk. So let's say drunk me would buy it. Oh, no, I'm buying it for some. I'm buying it for some. No, drunk me is going to. I'm drunk. Drunk me is going to buy this. <laughs> drunk me is loving it every second of this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Next. Oh, I kind of wish that this was available here, but it's only in Asia, so. <laughs> and it's fucking stupid. So this is the Maybelline and M&M's collab. Why, why, why? I wish I did a collab with someone not known for their makeup because I would never think M&M's are wearing makeup. So we're just gonna call the same shit new packaging because essentially Maybelline loves doing this where they'll just take existing palettes or existing products and then just put it in weird IP packaging. <laughs> It just so happened that it's Eminem's turn, I guess. But I'm not gonna lie though, it would be pretty fucking sick if I just out of nowhere pulled out a little like Eminem foundation and be like, yes, it has Eminem's on it. I'm, I'm sure people will probably look at me sideways, but when don't they? <laughs> Any who's Uh, You know what I really do love though, more than anything is the stupid, what the hell? It's, you don't even get those. Are they socks? What the fuck is that? It's like a little thing next to it. I don't know. <laughs> In the photo, it's just, oh, I guess it's like, um, it's probably just like a special thing. It's like a cone, but then it has like a little sponge or something and it's the M&M. I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do. Yeah, I like the thing that's not even real. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wish I could buy that. No, because it doesn't exist, Teresa, dumbass. Uh, but you also can get a city bag, which the city bag is kind of cute. I, I would actually pick up the city bag. Or socks. Socks are not cute. But the city bag is kind of cute. Um, but yeah, the rest of the products are kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> They're really fucking dumb, but I kind of love it. So we're just gonna call it the same shit new packaging because it's the same Maybelline bullshit, but it's just in new spicy packaging. Next. Oh, and I hit bingo. We're gonna keep going now. Ooh, a butt. <laughs> So what do we got here, kids? We got the Starface Absorb Shrinks Protects, a pack of eight hydrocolloid protectors made with 1% salicylic acid, double XL patches, about 4X the size of classic Hydro Stars, designed to shrink bigger spots and breakouts on your face, body, or both. Absorb fluid and help reduce the appearance of inflammation to shrink spots overnight. Designed in four shapes and sizes that target larger spots for all over, $12.98 for eight patches. These are cute. I've never, never, ever, ever tried the little sticker things for pimples. And I have a honkin' boy right here because I'm finishing up my period. And she is Bertha and she is loud and proud and I hate her. Uh, so I kind of wish I had one of these so I could just shove it on my fucking face, but I don't. I'm so curious actually to hear from y'all. Do these work? Do these little patches work? And maybe not necessarily this one from Starface, but I know, what was it? Mighty Patch was another one. Um, I saw that in CVS today. I'm sure there are other ones. Let me know actually if you have picked them up and if you do like them i'm so curious to know like what people's kind of feedback have been about those i'm trying to not sound super <laughs> I'm like trying to like sound intelligent. Let me know what they, do they fucking work or not? Like just between us, between us squirrel friends, do they work or not? Cause I don't think they work, but I could be wrong. I could be, I'm getting drunk. I don't think I can call them anything. So nothing, hmm, that's sad. Next. The next product is from Sigma. Burr, 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 burr. 
Um, and I'm doing the rah, 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 because I love this creator. I I have not met her. Our paths have not crossed. But I love Angela Bright. I love her eye tutorials. I have been watching her for so long before I even started doing YouTube. I discovered her. She makes some of the prettiest goddamn eye looks I've ever seen. And I'm so happy to see that she's having a little favorites brush set with Sigma. And in the brush set, I don't know what they are. <laughs> Hold please. Let's see. What's in the brush set? E27. E33, E42, E57, E28. Wait. <laughs> There's too many numbers. Hold on. 27, 28, 33, 42, 57. What I love about Angela is that she got hooded eyes and I have hooded eyes. So I always found her techniques super helpful. Now, am I fucking, I, by no means am I the queen like she is, but between her and Robert Welsh, I feel like I have like picked up some things along the way and I just, I love and appreciate their techniques. So I'm very, very happy for her. I think this is really fucking awesome. So it looks like her first set launched in 2018. So this is the second set. This is fucking great. It's available now. So if you want to get it, pick it up. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. I don't think I will pick this up only because, you know, when it comes to Sigma, I really do like their face brushes. When it comes to eye brushes, they're just okay. I prefer my Refer, my Sonia G. I'm I'm more of a natural hairbrush person. So for me, it's like, mm, meh. but um, I love this. I think this is fucking great. So congratulations, um, Angela Bright. And I hope our paths cross one day because I, I, I honestly like love the hell out of her. I think she's so fucking fun. She's, she just, she makes such cool shit and her hair always looks really cool too. <laughs> I love her short hair, it's so pretty. Okay, um, enough about me fangirling, but I don't think I can call this anything except for good for you, baby. But good for you, baby. Next. Ugh. <laughs> Our good friends over at Gucci is coming out with um, eyeshadow palettes. So these are little quads. They are $69 a piece. Yes, you heard right, $69 a piece. And there are three different shades. You have Wild Bouquet, Rose Natita, and Samarina Brown. Which I'm, I'm gonna say, I feel like they missed the mark on the palette names. I love, 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 love their names of their lipstick. And I love the names of their, which is what I have on my hands right now, their nail polish, which I love their fucking nail polish. It's so good. Everyone thinks it's gel when I have this on, but it's not. It's just Gucci. So when I see these little eyeshadow palettes, I'm like, ew. <laughs> First of all, they look very, very drugstore and not in a good way, especially with the little fucking brush too attached to it. I don't understand why they even have these brushes or whatever. But anyway, um, I gotta say, I love, I love, love, love Gucci packaging. I think their packaging is like, ooh, perfection. That's the reason why I haven't given up the goddamn bronzer, even though I hate that goddamn product. I just love the packaging. I love the packaging too much to give it up. Um, so when I see this, I'm a little disappointed because it's just, it doesn't feel as special as some of their other stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so it's, Mm, their blushes are fantastic. And that packaging is like 10 out of 10. This just seems so, it seems cheap. And it reminds me a little bit of like the Hermes packaging, which also is really fucking cheap for the price point. I don't know, it's just kind of insulting at the end of the day. So when I see this, the eyeshadows look, with the exception of, all right, the one palette with the green and the red and the purple and the white, that is so, for, no. <laughs> I can't think of like how I would incorporate that. All those colors I feel like are so different. It just doesn't make sense. It just, it doesn't make sense at all. I don't, I don't think they go together. The other ones look a little bit more cohesive, but also these swatches look like they're painted on. What the fuck? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Ew, no. No, they're giving me motel prostitute and not in the way that I want to be a motel prostitute. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm not gonna lie though. I am kind of curious to see how the quality is because I am a glutton for punishment, but I feel like this is something that I'm gonna have to call Michelle Wong, our mother of luxury, who <laughs> tell us if something is good or not. So I need to call, I need to call Michelle on this. We need to consult. I need to know her thoughts on it. With that said, I'm gonna call Michelle Wong on this. We need to know if these are gonna be good or not. Michelle, I'm waiting. Please comment down below. Thank you. <laughs> Next. I want to try these. These look really good, but I'm hoping they come to Sephora because I want them 20% off. But Kosas is coming out with, I guess, like baked bronzers, basically, right? Yeah. It's called The Sun. Ooh. 
the Sun Show Bronzers. Talc free bronzers for soft, glowy warmth. Concentrated fatty acids, oh, how sweet, are baked into a mousse for a creamy payoff that never looks chalky or dry. Weightless buildable formula. It looks pretty, the formula. And um, obviously, I'm probably gonna get the lightest shade because I am, you know, light as fuck. So it just makes sense for me. But they look really, really beautiful. Really, really pretty. I love how the models look with it. This is something that I definitely wanna put all over my goddamn face. And I need to buy it for science, clearly. I need to buy it for science to see how it is. But it's something that I don't wanna have to buy through Kosas. I just wanna buy it through Sephora because I want that 20%. Mama wants a discount. Mama should get a discount. <laughs> Any hoosies. Did Kosas come out with the bronzer before? I feel like they have come out with something and I, I didn't pick that one up. I really do love their foundation and concealer. I like their foundation more than the concealer, but, but their foundation is fantastic. So yeah, something I would totally pick up and I'm gonna say I'm gonna buy, I'm buying it for science. Yep, I'm buying it for science. It looks beautiful. Next. Oh, these are so cute. I love these. So this is from Catrice and these are the Hip Hop Hooray Reloaded Collection. Oh my God, they're so adorable. I don't know, coming soon. Okay, okay, so it's definitely gonna be coming to the US. I hope that there's little ears on these little guys because there needs to be, because that is so adorable. I can't, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even deal with it. It is so fucking cute. I'm down for it as long as they have little ears on it. If they don't have ears on it, I don't want these in my life. <laughs> It's so funny. It's taking something basic like nail polish and then adding a personality to it that just makes me go, oh, I want it. <laughs> I want it. It looks so sweet. So with that, I guess I could call this, um, we can't escape the holiday makeup. We can't. I feel like any possible celebration, makeup companies will come out of the woodwork just to have makeup releases for it. And uh, yeah, this doesn't disappoint. This is definitely one of the cuter Easter makeup products. I definitely think the one year that uh, ColourPop had peeps, <gasps> bitch, those are so cute. Those are so fucking cute. So I'm very, very happy to see this. But if they don't have ears, they'll be hell to pay. Next. The next one is from ColourPop, our Lord and Savior Daddy. So Daddy is coming out with more blushes, bronzers, and highlighters, and actually it's what I have currently sitting right in front of me. Blushes, bronzers, blushes, bronzers, highlighters. I'm like, I can't, I, I'm, I am fucked up right now. <laughs> I am fucked up. I don't know if you can see that, but she is cute. She's a nice little highlighter. That's in the shade Minted. Very bright. I plan on using this along with the new collection that came out, which they sent me, which thank you by the way, Daddy. I appreciate it. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> The Heavy Petal Collection. I haven't even used this one yet, but literally they sent this to me and then like the next day what showed up was uh, all these blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. And I was like, okay, okay. I I hear you, Lord. We're definitely going to be making a video uh, using these products in the future get ready with me. Probably when I talk about Vanderpump Rules because it's, you know, it's a cute collection, but I don't think there's anything like super special about it. Like eh, looks wise or whatever. That said, uh, these are really cool. I like their new packaging. They're nice. They're stable. They're not difficult to open, which is a huge fucking plus. I find lately a lot of packaging is kind of difficult to open. <laughs> and maybe I'm just getting stupider. I don't know. <laughs> Happy that these open very easily, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, I, I like them so far. But again, I've only, I've only swatched them. I haven't put them on my face, but if they're anything like their brothers and sisters, I'm gonna like them just fine. So yeah, happy to see that. Thank you so much to daddy. And uh, I think my code still works. So if you're ever interested in wanting to check out anything from ColourPop, my code is garbage five. If not, tell ColourPop that you're mad about it and you want it back. <laughs> Just saying. Any hoosies. I will say that March has kind of been a little bit slow for them. I'm used to like at least, you know, seven releases by now. But they kind of slowed down this month and there really hasn't been anything like super exciting. So I don't know if that means they're going to, it's they're gonna beef it up and come April or whatever, but like it's kind of been slow for daddy. And I don't know, I don't know what's going on with them, but kind of hope that their next collection is like, whew, earth shattering because while this is fine it's just you know not the most fucking exciting thing in the world so it's just okay anyway thank you daddy i love you and um we'll see you real soon next oh you best believe i want this <laughs> 
still have to do my full face of chart because I actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I can get one of these and then I could fully complete the picture of all the fucking tape bullshit things. So this one is the Glow Tape Highlighter and uh, Pearl Glow is literally calling my fucking name and I cannot wait to put that on my goddamn face. But um, yeah, this is a diamond, a diamond infused, Jesus Christ. Diamond infused liquid highlighter brightens and restores luminosity for a glow with light reflecting mineral pigments <coughs> for a soft focus finish and a precision cushion tip for a glow on the go. $35 in shades Pearl Glow, Golden Glow, Bronze Glow. So this is very, yeah, <laughs> clearly Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. So um, kind of confused on why they're choosing that packaging, but um, you know, whatever. It's actually a couple of dollars cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. So it that's kind of interesting too, but then again, Tarte's always at that weird or high mid-tier price point. But anyway, um, as soon as this comes, I'm gonna do a full face of just all the shape tape shit. Uh, the only thing I have tried so far was the creamy concealer, and I'm not a huge fan. I'm still playing with it, but I haven't really found, I don't know. It just, a lot of people like it, and a lot of people are like, fucking, it's great. And I'm like, that's good for you, Gina. It's just not working for me, unfortunately. But I, I'm, I'm trying. I, I, it's like a, it's like a horrible boyfriend from high school. Like he's lying and cheating on me yet I still want to be with him. <laughs> So I'm so going to try it, but um, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to try the other tape line. The thing that never fucking dies, and we're just going to call it a collaborative product that literally won't die because the shape tape line is literally going to outlive us all next to NARS Orgasm, Smashbox Primers, the Benefit Professional. They are going to be the things that literally are going to be on this earth roaming the <laughs> Oh, it's kind of sad, but kind of cute and weird all at the same time. Just imagine these like lone makeup products and rags just roaming the earth while all the humans are dead. Anyway, so we're call it a product that won't die that would be a really interesting sci-fi movie on sci-fi just saying i don't know why i want tara reed to be in it but i want her to be in it next <laughs> <sighs> next oh i got bingo again burr, 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 burr. double bingo Ooh, i love 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 no i don't like this never mind <laughs> I just realized what it was. I just realized what it was. Say Beauty has kind of digmatized me a little bit because I love their bronzer. I think their bronzer is fantastic. And in a way, I just, I want their foundation to work for me, but it hasn't worked for me or their concealer. It's like fucking dog shit. I've only liked their bronzer and their blush, like ugh, 10 out of 10. So when I see this, I'm kind of like, I don't know how this is gonna work for me. I don't know about this, but this is the Glowy Super Skin Lightweight Hydro Bounce Serum Foundation. Usually serum foundations, I wanna say fucking nine out of 10, times it's awful like it just looks so bad on me and i hate it i fucking hate it i hate how shitty they look but they usually look so shitty on me and i hate it um so when i see this i'm like ooh, i don't i don't know i don't know but at the same time i'm a glutton for punishment bb because i kind of want to try it because maybe this is the product that's for me what is wrong with me what is wrong with me a lot of things don't answer that it's rhetorical Anyway, this is a lightweight serum foundation with a medium buildable coverage that brightens and leaves a luminous finish, blends easily for a hydrated and seamless second skin appearance, $40 for 36 shades. Shade range wise, it looks okay. <gasps> it's gonna be available March 16th. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm gonna pick that up. Here's the deal. I have a hundred dollar. I have a $100 um, for a Rouge Reward. And I kind of want this, and now I want the Cali Ray palette so badly. Like, and I, I mean, it's a, I do, I have it. I have it. I have the gift certificate. I have it. I mean, I kind of have to buy it, right? Like, I have to buy it. Uh, anyway, I want it. I want it. I want it. I'm going to get it. D don't stop me now. <laughs> Me. I want to buy this because I want to see how disappointing this is. Oh god, it's gonna be so sick and sweet. I love it. Oh wait a second, it's coming out in Sephora too. I'm curious if it's gonna be available in person because my mom is gonna be here on the 16th. We could always pit stop at Sephora, right? <laughs> oh, we could always pit stop there. Actually, hold on, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Sephora. Let's go look. Let's go look. Oh, there's a 24-hour thing. What is this? Oh, I don't care. Drunken elephant, go fuck off. Um, hold on. Let me just look up Kelly Ray for a second, cause like I'm dying, dying to know. Is it only online? <gasps> oh, it's out of stock in Disney Springs, you bitch. Okay. <laughs> fuck. All right, so I'm gonna have to buy that online. But what about um, say Beauty, baby? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm this. I'm, I'm just so excited. Hold on. <gasps> hydro bounce, hydro. Oh, it's online only. Okay, so I'm literally gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pick this up online with the Cali Ray. And <laughs> I, 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 zero fucks are given right now. Zero fucks are given. I'm excited about it. Um, 
Can I call this anything? No, glutton for punishment is not on my bingo card. <laughs> so I guess we can't call it anything, but just know that I'm really excited about it. Next. Oh, okay. <laughs> so another Tarte product. What? First of all, what is going on with Tarte? One trip to Dubai and apparently they literally have been pulling out so many fucking products out of their asshole. They're the new ColourPop. But anyways, this one is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Tanning Drops Duo. And listen, a lot of you motherfuckers want to see me and Alex just destroy our bodies. And rightfully so. I literally said it. So thank you. <laughs> But we are gonna do it and it's gonna be bad. Kinda wanna try it with this because I'm curious. Tanning drops. So, like, all right, well, hold on. What is this? For natural looking sun kissed glow, just mix the drops into your favorite moisturizer for a custom tan. Okay, 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 okay. I'm so excited. I feel like a cheerleader. I'm so excited. Oh, we're gonna buy this. We're gonna buy this one because this one feels like it's not as permanent because that's the one thing I'm kind of worried about. Although like I have this blonde hair now and I kind of feel like I need a tan because I'm too pale. But um, I know like the body stuff I think is gonna last for a little bit. But the face though, like I don't, I'm afraid to look like a fucking crouton. <laughs> look like a fucking crunchy crouton and I hate that. So I need, I think something like this is like manageable for the face and I feel like it's gonna be something that kind of washes away. God, I hope so. Hold on, let me see. Let's go on the chart website right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Who would have thought self-tanning would be something that I'm into, but I am. <gasps> oh, there's a wait list for the highlighter? Oh, because it's not out yet, okay. <laughs> Oh, bitch, there's a wait list for them. Okay, so how to use. Mix two or more drops, wash hands after application. Okay, for a hint of glow, use two to five drops. For more bronze glow, use six to 10. All right, I'm gonna wait for these to come back into stock and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna try this one because I feel like this is probably gonna be, <laughs> I hope it's something that's not permanent, but we'll see. Oh God, but actually, you know what? I, I asked y'all though first. Babies, don't steer me wrong. Don't fuck with me that much. <laughs> Like if you actually know of a similar product to this that is temporary, hashtag temporary, please let me know and I'll go pick that one up. Um, if there's like a tried and true one that you like or that you have tried and that you can guarantee that it's not gonna be all fucked up, let me know. It's hard to get to the bottom where it's really just vodka. Let me know, cause I'm interested. Oh God, I can't wait to be a bronze golden chicken. <laughs> I'm excited. Can I call this anything? No, except put it on my goddamn face, which we already did, so <sighs> whatever. Next. Ooh, these are kind of cute and I kind of only want one thing. So Makeup Revolution, our good friends over at Makeup Revolution is coming out with the Fruit Fizz and Spritz collection right on the heels of the Italian Spritz, which I think is really fucking funny. And um, there is a couple of different products here. So we have some eyeshadow palettes that are $6 a piece. Not gonna lie, it's kind of really cute that's coming out of like a little can. That's really adorable. Then we have lip glosses, which look okay. Then we have liquid highlighters that look kind of interesting. And if it's anything like the liquid highlighters from the Simpsons Love Collection. <gasps> Bitch, this is gonna be great. Actually, no, that wasn't a highlighter. What was that? That was a bronzer. It was fantastic. But they did have a good highlighter as well in that collection. And then they have a lemon sponge. Yes, it's available now in Europe, so I can't buy it. But as soon as it becomes available, I'm picking it up because I need that sponge. Y'all know I love collecting weird fucking sponges. The ones that I, I just don't use. And this is a product that I would just, I would never use. But I do wanna try the liquid uh, highlighters. I think the highlighters sound good. The lip glosses I could give two shits about. And the eyeshadow palettes, the lemon spritz one looks fine. I mean, it's like, it's just neutral with a pop of blue and yellow, you know, cherry cola, grapefruit fizz. They're fine. Maybe I might pick up one palette, but the things that really interest me is, really is the fucking sponge. That sponge is awesome. It's awesome. The eyeshadow swatches, they don't look so bad. They don't look so bad. Um, Some kind of look chalky, some kind of look a little chalky, Um, but you know, it's Makeup Revolution. I don't really have any ex, oh, ew. Okay, so the liquid highlighters are weird because one is like really like pink and the other one's like really yellow, like buttercream. <laughs> Or like, you know what it is? It, it's like, uh, oh fuck, what is it called? Oh, I can't believe it's not butter. You know, or like, um, it's country crock. <laughs> it's country crock in liquid form and I hate it. It's fucking yellow. Okay, so maybe I'm only gonna be getting the sponge. Either way, I'm getting something from this collection because I need that goddamn sponge. I need it, I need it. I it just, I don't care. I don't care. The rest of this collection, it feels very copycatty, which, you know, again, the Italian spritz, maybe it's just really good timing. 
Probably is, but yeah, I mean, it's cute. It's not bad. Honestly, to be real with y'all, I'm actually kind of happy to see this as opposed to like another Disney shit. You know what I mean? Like the Disney stuff is kind of so, ugh, it's so just, ugh, I don't care. <laughs> Their Disney stuff is not as good as I want it to be, you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of nice to see the little lemon shit. So I like a lemon shit. We both like it. Makeup Revolution, go away, but also stay because I love that sponge. And I hit Bink. No, I didn't hit Bink. Never mind. Next. <laughs> great. Okay, so this is going to be very simple. We're not going to spend too much time on this one um, because it's whatever. It's the Sephora sale. So um, Sephora sale is going to be happening on April 14th. Oh, that's Alex's birthday. <gasps> Guess what we're doing, Alex? <laughs> we're going to Sephora. But from the 14th to the 24th um, is going to be the sale. So if you're Rouge, it's the 14th to the 24th. If you're VIB, it's 18th to the 24th. And if you're Insider, it's also 18th to the 24th. Oh, weird. Okay, VIB and Insider insider at the same time. Usually it's staggered, right? That's kind of weird, but okay, cool. The biggest thing here, which has been the theme for the last couple of events, is the Sephora collection. You can get 30% off regardless of what level you are at in Sephora, so just a heads up there. Sometimes Sephora has some nice stuff, like for example, their concealer brush. If you ever find that one, it's number 71. One of the best brushes I've ever tried for concealer is that one. Their spray <laughs> their spray foundation is great um and actually there's something that i've been eyeing for a while now it's like this little bronzer no, what the hell is it it's like a little baked palette or something like 20 bucks i've been waiting for it to come back into stock it hasn't yet but that one looks pretty cool it has really good ratings i actually think i might pick up some more sephora collection stuff just because you get a little bit more of a discount but any hoosie yeah i will be doing a video on it if you are interested in shopping the sale just to give you kind of my recommendations there are a lot of things that have come out between like the last two years. I'm going to highlight the things like I always do. Highlight the things that, you know, hey, these are worth it if you get it on discount. Uh, also, as well as the ones that are just like amazing. And if you can get it for cheap, that's even better, you know. But um, I love the Sephora sales. I think they're wonderful. And, um, you know, all you got to do is just remember to shop responsibly. And just remember to like, just because there's a sale now, there will be a sale again come the fall and again come the holidays. So I guess the biggest takeaway is, is that don't feel pressured to have to buy anything during these sales. You know what I mean? You're going to see a lot of fucking videos, myself included, right? Of recommendations and shit. At the end of the day, shop responsibly, right? So if you have it, great. If you don't have it, great. Just remember there's always sales. I guess that's what I'm getting at. It's like one, shop responsibly, but two, this is not like, oh my God, the last sale ever. Now, there's going to be multiple sales. Plus, if you really want to be savvy, a lot of times, certain brands will have sales as well during these sales so then they'll have like a deeper discount and it doesn't matter what level you are at right so for example ola henriksen will have sometimes like 25 30 percent off sales makeup forever fenty blah 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 like they're a brand so kind of keep that in mind too is that if you are say not a rouge level check the brand out because you might actually get a better deal than the sephora one just saying any so uh yeah i look forward to the event i plan on picking up some things anyway uh, i don't think i can call anything except nothing okay <laughs> nothing next Oh, I love this. I love this palette. I, I'm gonna buy this one. I have not picked up anything from Geology Cosmetics and I've been meaning to and I kind of just forget about them, which is kind of sad because they make really cute shit. But this is the Wheat Belt palette. It's 10 shades, mattes and shimmers. It's actually gonna be launching on Alex's birthday. So uh, I would say if this was a couple of years ago, I would be concerned because anything that lands on my husband's birthday is notoriously really bad or things just close because he had the birthday curse. Uh, but now the curse has been lifted and things are, are much more happier. <laughs> it's not a dark day, April 4th at all. So I'm actually excited. So I plan on picking this up because listen, I am a sucker and a slut for yellow and that army green looks beautiful. It just looks like a cute palette and it's actually something that I really, really wanted to try. I wanted to try their first palette and I never had a chance to um, and I don't even know if actually if it's still available. But um, yeah, I don't know. This one's just like speaking to me on, on so many different levels. So I plan on picking this up. Those goddamn yellow shades. They're fucking everything. I'm always on that hashtag quest for yellow and these just do not disappoint. So I'm going to call this nothing. I can't call this anything. This is, except put it on my fucking face. This looks beautiful. But also I would love to hear from y'all if you have picked up anything from Geology Cosmetics. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know. I'm so, so curious because they look fantastic. 
Anyway, can't wait to buy that. Next. <sighs> this is weird. <laughs> this is a weird one. <sighs> Nails Inc., which is the same company that did that fucking Cheeto nail polish, which stunk so goddamn badly, is coming out with the Squishmallows nail polish. And don't get me wrong, I love a Squishmallow. Squishmallow, 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 whatever. I have one of them. His name is Kwame, because that's his name. I forgot what he is. Hold on, let me see, wait. Now it's gonna bother me. What is Kwame? Oh my God, okay, so. <laughs> oh my God, stop it. Okay, for, I'm about to cry right now. Oh my God. I'm getting to the point where I'm really drunk and everything's adorable. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh my God, wait. Oh no, I don't, 7-Eleven, stop it. Okay. So Kwame is a light purple walrus with flippers on each side of his body. His muzzle and belly are both light gray and he has two white tusks protruding from his mouth. He has closed eyes, straight whiskers, a gray nose, a small gray tuft of hair on the top of his head. Here's his biography. Kwame teaches high school history. <laughs> okay. This is his dream job. This is his dream job since it combines talking about mellow history and hanging out with younger generations. Kwame hosts his classes as interactive discussions and awards a prize to one star student every Friday. Who would have thought that I would have the sweetest, babyest squishmallow ever? I didn't realize they had biographies. I just wanted to Google him because I, I couldn't remember what the fuck he is because I'm a little drunk right now and I didn't want to go downstairs. <sighs> Anyway, I saw him in a Target. I immediately squealed like a pig and I grabbed him and I regret nothing. Anyway, so all that to say, when I saw this, I was like, why are, what is this? What is this? So Nails Inc. Is, has a collaboration with Squishmallow. And I mean, other than having like the little stickers, there's really nothing Squishmallow about it. Both polishes look really cute, but are they super unique? No, and I think for the price, like actually it's not really, actually it's not a bad price actually. The collectible nail polish duo and sticker set is $16. That's actually a good price point. If it was like 30, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Like you could just go get like Essie Express polishes and shit and you'll be fine. This one is not bad, but I will say though, the only nail ink stuff I have is from the fucking Cheeto collection. That smelled toxic and I really didn't like how it looked on my nails. Like it was kind of very thin formula. So it's something that I don't think I would ever pick up, but it's taking all of the strength inside of me not to start crying right now. <laughs> and wanting to buy this because there is something so fucking sweet about fat stuffed animals that literally they send me for days. Send me for days. Yes, I know, I'll be 38 this year. I don't give a shit, okay, when it comes to a fat stuffed animal that teaches history. Like how am I not in a corner right now, okay, crying how pure and just beautiful this is. <laughs> I had a really weird childhood, okay? Probably should have went to therapy. Point is, I want to love this more than what it is. And I think I just love the packaging and I love the stickers, but the actual colors are just, meh. They're, they're fine, but like, mm, meh. Not for me, but, um, oh God, Kwame. What a sweet boy. It's actually currently spring break here right now. So I'm pretty sure he must be really happy that he doesn't have to teach class. So I'm happy for him. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think I can call this anything. I can't call this anything. All right, next. The next product is from, ooh, Lawless. I have never tried anything from Lawless, so I don't know if I'm missing out or whatever, but this is the Lavender Collection. So the Lavender One Talc-Free Eyeshadow Palette retails for $27, and it looks fine. It looks cute. It's a cool tone color story, which I appreciate. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the, I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering, but like the ABH Norvina palette, kind of. That Periwinkle Lavender shade kind of reminds me of that. Probably, it's pro I'm probably completely off base. That is an eight pan palette with matte and shimmer shades, and then you have Filler Lip Plumper, line smoothing gloss absolutely fucking not anything that is a lip plumper usually means it's going to be a spicy butthole for your face no 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 no. but you do have it in the shades violet bloom and lavender sorbet which i'm not gonna lie both colors look really fucking cute like obviously the light pinky one is more my speed because it's a basic bitch color but that orchid color that just purple color ooh, bitch that is real estate barbara and i kind of want to get it even though i know it's gonna burn my asshole I still want to get it because I just think it's so pretty. There's something about like that pink. I work in real estate and I smoke Virginia Slims. <laughs> pink that I love so much. Like, call me Babs. I love it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Am I going to get this? <sighs> I think I might get this. <laughs> I think I might get this, but I, I am scared though. The lip plumper thing. I don't like the sensation of that. I don't think it's like a really fun, cool sensation. It's not for me. So I'm on the fence. Like I want it, but like, huh. But anyway, I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know if you actually have ever picked up anything from Lawless. I haven't. I haven't seen anything that I really liked, but 
The eyeshadow palette is pretty. I would probably pick up the eyeshadow palette and like the super Babs pink color, like, cause that just looks cool. I wish I had the drunk me would buy this because I wanna say when I was pulling these images together, I saw this and I was like, oh, who gives a shit? But now that I'm like, I'm on the moon. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Let's go drunk shopping. Ooh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know, this blonde hair. Imagine this hair with like a really just real estate pink lipstick. Oh, bitch. And a tan face. Oh man, I can't wait to look like a leather handbag. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm truly gonna morph into a Florida woman. I can't wait. Anyway, I kind of want this now. I want this. I'm sold. I'm sold. But I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you picked up anything from Lawless and if you love it or hate it. But I kind of love it now. All right. <laughs> Next. Ooh, we're bound to the last two products. I know, oh my God. Um, the next one is from Nabla. Nabla. What do we, what do you got, babe? What do you got? Nabla is coming out with the Beyond Jelly Sheer Supple Lipsticks. They look nice. Ooh, they look really nice. Oh shit, they kind of remind me of Chantecai. Probably at like a fucking cheaper price point, which is great. I like the colors of these and I kind of actually love the half gloss, half lipstick kind of a feel. It really just reminds me of Chantecai in the best way possible. So these give a glossy glaze finish that enhances the lips fullness in a natural way. It protects and moisturizes your lips from first application, keeping them soft and plumped over time. So these are gonna be available as of the 15th. Shit, if these come to Ulta, I would totally pick them up for sure. Again, I feel like I always go through this fucking diatribe. I wanna love Nabla more. Like I love their vicious mascara, that fucking cool ass Linoge Storm of the Century mascara. And if you know, you know. <laughs> That is such a good product. But when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes, I'm just like, no, I don't like you. I'm just, I'm not a fan. I love their little gla uh, their glazing. Is it glazing? Whatever, the bronzer. That's always usually like during the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale. That product, that's really good. The bronzer is really good. The fucking blushes have been really good. Uh, but when it comes to the eyeshadow palettes, I'm just like, ew, no. But the lip product looks really interesting. So I would totally pick it up. <laughs> I would totally pick it up in a heartbeat. I like it, I like the colors. I think they're really cute. I'm into it, I'm down. I'm down to clown, y'all. Nabla, maybe I should try their eyeshadow palettes again. I don't know, I just didn't find them to be super special. I'm getting, dr I'm drunk. <laughs> Because I'm just like, you know what? It wasn't so bad. Let's, let's try it again. That's kind of how I feel right now. Someone take my phone away from me. Next. And last, but certainly not least, we have yet another Makeup Revolution product. And that is the Crystal Aura Collection. So these are palettes and lip oils and fixing spray. And that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. So the palettes, they, I mean, they don't look like much. I don't know, they look like kind of standard, you know, Revolution Beauty palettes. Maybe the blue one kind of piques my interest a little bit more because it has the greens in there, but yeah, I don't know, whatever. What does tickle my makeup pickle is the lip oils because y'all know me, I am a sucker for lip oils and I just can't have enough. I can't have enough. So that's the only thing I would say is probably of interest. Everything else is kind of like meh. I want to say anytime I've ever tried like a revolutionary spray, a revolutionary, a revolution spray, it's kind of alcoholy and it kind of burns my skin. Oh no, no. I I take that back. I'm talking about perfusion. Perfusion does that. Perfusion hurts me. <laughs> so I don't think I actually have tried it, hmm. but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm still trying to figure out this fucking plump finish from NYX with electrolytes because that's what plants crave. So yeah, uh, I don't think I'll pick that up, but the lip oil though, the lip oil is of interest. So I am a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. So I think I'd probably pick that up the day that the lemon becomes available so I can just buy everything in one shot as opposed to getting two orders and paying double the shipping. So uh, we're just gonna call that makeup revolution go away because I don't have anything else to say and I'm getting to the point where I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Next. Okay, sorry, I had to go to the bathroom and then I realized how face my, how face my red is. Uh, <laughs> Red my face is, and I was like, okay, time to wrap this bitch up. Anyway, um, <laughs> happy St. Patrick's Day, y'all. If you're gonna be out today, please, please, please drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, stay safe, be careful, but uh, overall, have, have a good time. Just be careful, okay? Yeah, that was fun. Blackout pink, <laughs> blackout pink. Uh, <laughs> oh, I need to go lay down. Okay, actually, I need. 
I need some spin dip from Applebee's and then I need to go lay down. Sounds like a good time. All right, anyway, definitely go check out Emily and Audra's videos and tell them I said hi. And of course, just, I love you. <laughs> love y'all. You're fucking wonderful. And thank you for hanging out with me. Me and the Scream Guy, love that. Uh, and with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful patron and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting. Garbage boat afloat. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face and everything else. Everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below and I'll leave you I'll, I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye!